This is our Earth, our home. Due to climate change, the Earth is not on a good pathway. But what does that mean? Climate change is the long-term shifts that are occurring in our temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts are being caused by greenhouse gases. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of oxygen, nitrogen and other gases, known as greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane. When the heat from the sun hits the Earth's surface, it absorbs some of that energy, which heats up the surface of the planet, the rest gets reflected. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap that energy and send it back down to the Earth's surface, heating the planet up even more. This is what's known as the greenhouse effect. Some of the human activity that causes the greenhouse effect are burning fossil fuels. This is one of the largest producers of greenhouse gases. Animal agriculture. The large amount of excrement produced in agriculture creates huge amounts of methane, which is 23 times more effective at trapping heat than CO2. Over 56 billion animals raised worldwide every year. That's eight times more than the human population and eight times more waste. Land for growing animal feed and raising animals uses a staggering 30% of land globally. Deforestation. Seven football fields of land are bulldozed every minute to create more room for farmed animals and the crops that feed them. Bulldozing land not only emits greenhouse gases, but decreases our trees, plants and forests. The more we deforest the earth, the less CO2 it can absorb from our atmosphere. Waste pollution. Solid waste landfills are one of the largest producers of methane gas, and with 7.753 billion people on Earth, we are producing 11.9 trillion pounds of rubbish every single year. So how do we know that human activity is the cause of accelerated climate change? Our civilizations created a devastating 43.1 billion tons of CO2 in 2019. That's more than 100 Mount Everests. The largest natural pollutant on Earth are volcanoes. If we take the largest estimate of carbon emissions caused by volcanoes every year, that's 500 million tons of volcanic CO2. But that's not even 2% of the 43 billion tons caused by our civilizations. Over thousands of years, our climate goes through a natural cycle of carbon dioxide being absorbed and released into the atmosphere. Once the Industrial Revolution started, burning fossil fuels became a necessity for production and CO2 increased dramatically, and it hasn't slowed down since. The greenhouse effect on our planet is like a bath being filled with more water than it can drain. Eventually, it will fill up with more water than it can handle. So why should we care? Animals and plant life are struggling to adapt to the increase in temperatures, and if one species goes extinct, it can create a domino effect in our food chain. No living plants and animals means no living humans. So how do we stop this? Instead of burning fossil fuels, we need to convert to renewable energies such as solar and wind power. These sources are infinite. Unlike fossil fuels, we will never run out of them. If we reduce deforestation, there will be more plants and trees absorbing carbon dioxide. If we use more renewable and reusable products, this will reduce the amount of energy needed to create new products and will mean less waste in landfill. So what can I do right now? Visit our website for simple how-to guides for your green home, green business, green public sector.